off with spinning the pogo stick around. Next thing you know, these guys started spinning their bodies around the pogo stick, doing candy bar crunches, under the leg bar spins, and then grizzes, inward whips. You're gonna see a lot of those up in the air today. Now there's three main ingredients that go into baking up a pro pogo athlete. Ingredient number one is lower body strength. Being able to control that pogo with just your legs is one of the core fund fundamentals to being a pro pogo rider. Give it up for Tone Socks. Now, a couple more skills are balance. They have to use balance in everything they do. One foot, one, no hands on the pogo stick. Give it up for Tone Socks. Toe knows how to dance on that pogo stick. Take it off to the club and back it up and drop it like it's hot. Toe stops. Should have saw him last night. Now the third ingredient is upper body strength. 99.9% of people cannot do what Tone is about to do. Bouncing with only his hands, he's squeezing from his buttocks to his neck to hold on to that pogo stick and become one with it. Toe stops. Now these guys started peg tapping, peg stalling, peg grabbing. One of the craziest peg tricks that I love is the peg stall. One foot on the pogo, tapping it on the ground, one hand. Give it up for Tony Tone Tone Stops. All right, Miami, you guys want to see something crazy and dangerous? You want to see a flip on a pogo stick? All right, let's give Tone Stop some energy. He's going to do what he can do on this spring pogo stick. Pump it up, Miami. Make some noise. Stuff your feet. Clap your hands. For toe, 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 toe. Yeah.